Hello, my name is Adiemi for Clueless Junkie. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how columns are mounted. Columns are a very important part of any building's foundation and it is very important that all measures are observed to ensure that they are mounted correctly to avoid any errors. If you are new to this channel, go on and hit the subscribe button. I promise you will like it here. To begin with, the materials needed for mounting columns we begin with the reinforcement comprises the columns, footing meshes, braces, binding wires and such. Uh, and then uh, an iron worker and an assistant will be needed to carry, put and tie the columns into place. And the next item will be lines. Uh, this will guide this will provide guidelines to help uh, locate the exact position of each column while they are being mounted then a spirit level or a plumb bulb to ascertain the vertical or the perpendicularity of of each column and then a tape measure where there is need to confirm the length or otherwise then um, most importantly a detailed drawing showing uh, the layout of uh, all the columns to be mounted in this instance i have uh, a foundation floor plan layout with the bases showed and uh, the grid lines clear so moving on place footing mesh and a typical footing mesh looks like this and then uh, the trenches for each columns must have been dug, excavated and they may not be the same sizes, they may be different depending on what is uh, specified in the engineer's drawing. So the meshes will be placed into each trench to show that uh, the meshes placed in each trench corresponds to what's on the drawing is accurate in size and uh, has been well tied and well constructed by the iron worker and then the next item distribute columns basically this is just moving the columns close to the pit where they belong and care should be taking that columns are not interchanged and that uh, they are moved to the right Pit and for the right footing mesh, uh, just according to what has been designed in the engineer's drawing. So, utmost care should be taken and that the columns are not interchanged and then the wrong thing is being done. And then, moving on from this point, the next item will be to pass the lines. To pass guidelines. These guidelines are needed to locate the exact point of the columns. From the setting out this point where the block work is, the line one is where the column will be situated just within the block work and uh, the appropriate cover will be adhered to as uh, stipulated in the engineer's drawing. Sometimes the middle point is used, but the column ties might get in the way. Some other person will deduct the concrete cover from the marking on the profile and use that to mount the columns. So a line will be drawn from either of the blockwork nails uh, from one point to the other part and be sure that the numbers correspond and then from one from line one to line one on the other side and in this case i'll pick the one of the nail and then uh, we'll attach the the line to it and then pass it to the other side of the profile 
making sure that the lines correspond then go on and pass lines for the other grid lines um, this is done for all the markings on the profile and then uh, for the left part part one of the nails is picked and uh, the lines are passed to intersect the already passed line and then meet the other end of the profile to establish the network the layout for the columns after the lines have been passed to locate each position of the columns uh, the next thing will be to mount columns and brace so to mount column a1 the column on point a1 uh, we go to line a and uh, check for line one and then at the intersection is where the column is going to be erected so the, get the iron worker and the assistant will go into the pit and erect that column using the spirit level check that it is perfectly vertical and then at the same time move it closer to the line or away from the line so that adequate cover is provided for the column this is done on all sides of the column to ensure that it doesn't slant in any way whatsoever and uh, as it is being checked with the spirit level if there is need to move it left or right or away from the lines or towards the lines that has to be done to ensure that the column is well erected and well mounted and uh, as soon as the position has been established that the column is at a point where it needs to be the brace is then applied to the column then the iron is passed through the columns in a strategic way that it holds the column to the wall of uh, the trench this is done using two lengths of uh, braces and then as the brace is being applied care must be taken that the columns do not move away from where it's supposed to be so the assistants ought to have tied the legs of the columns to the footing mesh and after braces have been applied the column is rechecked with the spirit level to ensure that it is still where it needs to be and uh, the, if there's any adjustment to be done it can be done and then the other columns are erected in the same manner and uh, care should be taken that they are well braced and that they are tied properly to the footing mesh and where there is need for a top mesh that they are adequately provided and uh, that's that about mounting columns I hope you found this interesting. Please hit the notification button and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. After this point, the lines are removed and uh, that wraps it up. Catch you on the next one.